Hello and welcome back. I am Arumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more uh, AAI vehicles with uh, Stijo. It's not. <laughs> it's not Refactory Simo. It's, it's not. It's not. I know you you want to think that it is, but it's not. Ah, uh, sad. So yeah, how's it going? It's it's going well. I mean, we found the the guy the forum. The, ins the, yeah, forum the instructions. Guide. The instruction manual. So we're going to give that a go and. Although now, it feels are, a bit like cheating, but whatever. There are blueprint strings and everything. I mean, you could you could just copy the blueprints if you wanted oh, that's, to. But that's like even more boring. Yeah, that's, that's just bit, that, nah, you might as well just input the full thing and just be like, ah, yep, yeah, there you go. It's all automated for me. Great. Yeah, I agree. That's a bit much. All right. So, well, you and I have literally just went over this exactly like what this is going to do. Yeah, so I basically almost understand it now. <laughs> Hopefully. Hopefully it's a bit yeah. easier to understand with the... Um, like, when it's actually in-game and you can see it. Yeah, yeah. Well, seeing it work will just be, like, a miracle, so that'll be cool, but... Anyway, I've researched engines because I wanted to build something. I don't remember what. There was a thing, though, and I know I wanted it. How about, uh, what else can we research? There should really be a filter in the list of technologies to only show research that you, like, like meets your criteria. Your knowledge of previous technologies slightly increases the speed at which your nanobots work. That sounds good. Let's do that one. Nanobot speed. <laughs> Alright, let's wire this up. Okay, so that's it. Put next some wires. So what's your plan with the uh, with the AAI pro programmable? Yeah, I cannot say that word. Programmable pro vehicles. Pro what are you going to try to make it do right now? What's your game plan? Well, right now I'm doing the I'm setting the zones, like getting the zones all set, so that we can see where the ore patches are. So we'll scan to find out okay. where the ore patches are, and then it'll set zones depending on that. Okay, before you get too wholly, totally, 100% committed, like mentally, into your current task, come over okay. here, and I want to see if you want to alter my plan so that I'm not building something that just doesn't agree with you. Okay. So, uh, normally, this this entity here would be a warehouse, but we discovered, or rather, I was you know looking at it, messing with it, that the vehicle depot containers are actually, um, it's an 8x8 eight eight entity, so we could use up to 8 loaders per side. So right. I'm using it instead. Do you want to drop resources off to these or to a centralized location and then have the resources ferried to these as warehouses? I mean, I could have them dropped off to these. So I could have a, a hollow that goes to... We could like like have like a, a path on the ground here, right? Like we could say that like this is... Have the vehicles like drive by or something. Down yeah, a list drop and off, yeah. drop off whatever they've got into specific ones. We could even create like a, you know, go to. Uh, let me see if I can do this. Actually, I think I almost know what I'm doing. Kind of. Uh, where's this zone planner? Um, circle, black circle. So we could say I don't know. That's kind of hard to see. Uh, be like green circle. Like go to green circle, and then go from green circle all the way up to here to like purple circle, which is also hard to see. But, but like, you could just, like you could just give them straight up coordinates. Yeah. Yeah, but either way, like, just somehow we could say, like, go from here to here, and, and then along the way, they would automatically transfer into the right depots. Yeah, and you just, all you do is set the depot so it's filtered. By right, saying that, right, uh, right, with its, with its little vehicle depot exchange data, blah, blah, blah stuff. Yep. So, shall we then use vehicle depot containers? It sounds like the answer is yes. Yeah, that sounds like the best idea. Okay, in that case, I'm going to cut most of this apart, because... Um, oh, sweet, <laughs> sweet. These, uh, it used to be that we had, there were two different types of ammo. There was, uh, construction bots and deconstruction bots. And yet these construction bots are deconstructing. Are they actually putting it back in my inventory or just killing it? No, it's going back. Because yeah. I never had any Lotus, so. Okay, awesome, sweet. I like that a lot. So this setup is, uh, something that I've been using with Angels quite a bit. Okay. It works really well. Um, I'm gonna upgrade it now then to include the sorting and uh, yeah, okay. That's that's all I needed really. Just wanted to check. See what your all thoughts right. were. Right, let's get this let's get this scanning. So the first thing I'm gonna do is coal. Just because. 
The hell is that? A coal filter? Fuck it. Uh, and we'll output. We need to find a zone for coal. Like, black crosses, black pluses. Well, the like, guide uses X's, which seems fine. X marks the spot and all that, so... Uh, what's the what's the rest of the resources? We've got Bob Monium. So if you find Bob Monium ore, then I want you to output... Is there like a brown cross? Oh, there's like an orange one, so let's go with that. What's the next door we're using? Steeratite. I should really just go to my other campaign and pull some blueprints, shouldn't I? No. No, fun. that'd be no fun, would it? Sapphire and rubite. Somehow I knew you'd say that. Oh, really? Sapphirite. And... Rubyite. Ru Rubyite. Zone. Cross. Okay. Alrighty. Then I need... I gotta remember my, uh, my math on some of these things because I don't. I don't recall it at all. I do remember that there are some rough ratios. I've, 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 it's been a while actually since I played Factorio, so I've forgotten a lot of things. Uh, anything. Green signal, and you should take each, and then output each. Is that actually needed, though? I don't think that is needed. You're still working on AAI progr programmable vehicles, yes? Yes. And that's if, if that's the case, I don't know. I don't know if that's needed, Stijo. I don't think it is. Uh... Ah, uh, fuck. No, I can't do that. It's like we're having some power issues. Could you ferry some, some coal up to the uh, furnace area? It's not It's not that the factory is too big, it's just that we don't have any, any actual coal in the chest up there. And it's not automated yet. We're completely out of power now. To Not, the... You'll, uh, there's, a, there's a chest that was supporting the whole power area. Uh, okay. Maybe, maybe that, you want to take one of your uh, your fancy pants little robot dudes and have him go over there and transfer some coal into a machine, huh? I just done it with long reach. Oh, that's good too, yeah. <laughs> okay, um, let's see. I mean... I don't even know. Do I have pollution turned... On options, graphics, show pollution on map view. Holy crap, is our pollution high? Jeez, some of these <laughs> machines, they must make a lot of pollution. That's gotta be the downside of these things because they are damn powerful, I'll give you that. Yeah. 
the mining rate is is pretty damn good. I think that's fine. And then I need the zone controller. Let me output this to the zone controller. Okay, so. We should start to see stuff getting Getting flagged as uh, as the appropriate resource types. Yes. Sweet. Hopefully, I don't know how long it'll take before we start seeing them. I mean, it is flagging stuff, but it's a radius of a hundred, so. Well, a hundred would be what? I mean, that's not that far. No. How quickly? It's done some of the blue ones apparently. Like I just saw it click over onto some of the blue ones. So. Down down here. Yeah. So there might be some. I'm not seeing any yet, are you? No, I'm not seeing any blue crosses. You probably did it wrong. Probably. It wouldn't surprise me. <laughs> Seems like we may have a bit of a resource issue with science. We're, we're doing that thing again where we get distracted by all the new frilly bits and we forget completely <laughs> to like set up an actual factory. You know, so there's no copper. Yeah, there's no copper going up there. There's no iron up here. There's plenty of iron available. It's just not actually being used properly. So. There's no copper because there's no sapphire. There's no sapphire because he's just being lazy with his fancy pants new trains, and he's what? not making them work. I'm trying. Are these zones like just not working at all? Is that what's going on? That's uh, that's the impression that I'm getting. Is that you've you've not quite got it perfectly yet? It's not working. Yay, nanobot speed, I like it. Okay, and then nanobot range. Your knowledge of previous technologies allows you to slightly increase the range of your nanobots. Plus two tile range. That sounds like a great research. Let's do it. Why do you think that's funny? Why are you laughing? It's so funny. So I've decided that um, maybe I should stop trying to be smart and just like... Copy paste the blueprint string? Not copy paste, no. Not copy paste the blueprint string, but... Just use it the way that it's labeled, as opposed to trying to do my own thing. Which I I still attest to the fact that my own thing should have worked anyway. But it didn't, did it? No. Well, I don't think it worked, but we'll see. <laughs> Let's see. I wonder, what do you think the chances are? I'm not <laughs> I'm gonna take a save. What do you think the chances are that a loader can connect to a static mining vehicle? <laughs> it's technically got a chest in it. Yeah, I reckon that'll work. Alright, so it's scanning, so hopefully we'll see some zones pop up. Because it's I've literally made it the way that the guy did. Oh yeah? You actually yeah. did copy paste the blueprint? Well, I didn't probably paste the blueprint string, but it's pretty... I pretty much just recreated it. <laughs> Looks like loaders don't necessarily want to play well with it. Oh, really? Yeah. 
You can place loaders, you can drive over loaders. I think that's probably part of the problem. They don't create a, a proper connection to the vehicle inventory, unlike an inserter, which is you know, grabbing out of an entity. Mm, yeah. the, loader, the loader actually interfaces with it. Actually, you um, know what that might be? It might just be the ticks. It might have been that the ticks were wrong. And that's why you need the extra combinator. So you know the superfluous combinator? The one that you thought was superfluous, yes. Yeah, it must be to uh, align the ticks. Align the ticks? What, I don't, what does that mean? Well, so... This scans on like every tick or whatever. I think it is every tick it scans. Um, just for argument's sake, let's say it is every tick. So it takes a tick to scan. Then the first set of combinators take a tick. And then the second set takes a tick. And then the third set takes a tick. But if I'm bypassing the second set because I thought they were superfluous, then we're one tick behind. So it would be registering the wrong X and Y coordinates. It would be registering the last tick's X and Y coordinates. So we might have zones just like all over the place. I see. Most of that makes sense. So it sounds like maybe the blueprint that he has on his guide is the way that it is for a reason. Possibly. <laughs> Although I'm still looking for, I'm still looking for some zones to be. Uh, you cooking some resin somewhere? You you've been using wires. Where where have you got your? Uh... I was. It's right underneath the resin factory. This this guy. He's not making anything though. He ran yeah, out of wood. Not any wood. Got to do that whole tree farm thing, don't we? Now, yeah. okay. Here, here's your next challenge, Cjo. You need to make uh, the chain gunners go on on suicide missions, kind of like Johnny Fives. Sound well, fun? Well, there's there's ways there is ways to do that. I mean, I could just do the exact same thing that I've got going flag. on just now, except yeah. flag biters. Yeah, flag biter bases and get them out there. What are we waiting for? Christmas. I would have assumed that it would have marked at least some things as zones. At least some of the stuff that we're mining right now, it would have marked as zones and I can't see it. Try, uh, I don't know, maybe your range is wrong. It's definitely outputting stuff. It's definitely outputting... Right there it was orange, so it should have been Bob Monium that I found. It should have been outputting orange crosses. Oh! Dude! Dude! Come here! Yeah? What? Where? What's it doing? Where I'm standing. There it is. Oh! They're, they're just freaking impossible to see. Very hard to see. To see. Yeah, because they're underneath. Yeah. So... Does that mean that you think it's working everywhere? Yeah, it probably has been working everywhere, it's just impossible to see this stuff. I can't really see any under that though. I think I see one, I'm gonna try using the zone planner to remove it, and see if it changes the image right here. Yeah, yep, there's a little, there are little black X's underneath the coal. Okay. Yep, if you, if you try, try taking the zone planner, and remove, you can actually see a, a very subtle difference. As long as it's, it is working, then I'm happy, but like 100 tiles isn't that far, really. Well, can you not make it, can you just make it bigger? Oh yeah, I can make it up to like 100,000. So do that. Well, not 100,000. I wanted to finish the 100 tiles first. That is cool though. That's cool that it's actually doing something. It's a lot slower than I expected. Well, you could make more. Make more scanners, right? Well, plus also, I, I, why does it need to detect every single tile where there is a resource? As long as you have a single tile that's designated, you could tell your miners to go there and well, they'll I mean, find another, it. Another thing that you could do is, once you've detected a tile, then 
scan around that tile. But yeah, that's, you that's could you could have like a refined searcher. Type yeah. Thing. Okay, so you got to get this thing moving. This this yes, right over the there. Next, that's the next thing. Because I'm doing it by hand, and it's you know. I feel so like where? I'm a big where robot. Do you want it? It should come by uh, into this into this warehouse. Uh, this stone thing we can move. This is just because you needed brick. Okay. But uh, so. this warehouse needs to receive sapphire. This vehicle depot container. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It needs to receive sapphire. Yeah, I could even set that if you want. Got it already. Did you? Yep. Are you sure? Because I'm looking at it. Okay. Now it's now it's updated. Uh, and I'm trying to figure out this stupid oil, crude oil deposit here is right in my way and messing up with my layout. Plus, normally I don't like to have the resources go left and then come back right because of this underground belt shenanigan stuff, but mm. it can be avoided if we get red belt, but I don't want, I don't really want to use red belt for it, so... I kind of just don't like any of it. But, I'm gonna redo it. I'm gonna redo it and we'll fix it in the next episode, so... <laughs> I ha! See, I knew what you were gonna say. <laughs> I saw it coming a mile away. Uh, all right, is this me? I don't remember, uh, but it is you now. Look, okay. So as always, thanks a lot for watching. I've been Stu. You've been awesome. I'll see you next time. Bye bye. See you soon.